Okay, hi everybody. So now let's talk about the product of powers. So what does that mean here? Well, let's say we've got x cubed uh, multiplied by, let's say, y to the fourth. Okay, now what does that mean and what can we do with it here? Well, remember what the power means here. This means that I'm dealing with uh, an expression here, right here, if I ignore that, that's got uh, three x's as factors. And over here, this one here has got four y's as factors. And so this actually could be equivalent here to x times x times x, and then y multiplied by y multiplied by y multiplied by y. So I've got four factors of y, three factors of, of x. And then it's multiplication in between, so I multiply them all together. So it's always multiplication all the way through here. Now, what can I do with that? Well, not much. Um, because I can't really multiply x times y. I don't know what that is. So what's the best I can say? Well, the best I can say here is I've got three factors of x multiplied by four factors of y. I really can't do anything with that. But what if it looked like this? What if it was x cubed multiplied by x to the fourth? Okay. Now the bases are the same. So now this x cubed, that means x times x times x. I've got I've got an expression here where x is a factor. Uh, I've got three factors of x, I should say. And then here I've got four factors of x. And the operation in between is multiplication, which is convenient because the power here, the operation is multiplication. So now, what can I say about this? Well, now I've got an expression where I see x as a factor seven times. And so this can actually be simplified down to just x to the seven. Okay. Now. I could go through and always expand that out, but the easier way of looking at that is saying, well, look at this. This tells me that I've got three factors of x. Here I've got four factors of x. And because the bases are the same, all I really needed to do was add the exponents together. Okay, so if the bases are the same, okay, if the bases are the same, add the exponents. That's all we have to do. Okay, so let's just take a look at another quick example here. Let's say that you've got, um, well, let's, let's, let's do something a, li a little bit goofier here. Let's say it's x squared multiplied by y to the fifth multiplied by x to the seventh multiplied by y to the nine. Well, I can't put the x's and the y's together, okay? I can't combine, for example, those two. But everything here is being multiplied together Order doesn't matter with multiplication, so I can put those two x, so I can put that x uh, squared together with the x to the 7, and then the y to the 5th multiplied by y to the 9. Now, I don't even really have to do that, but sometimes I, I know for some people it helps them. And when I multiply those together, I just add the exponents. So here I've got two factors of x, seven factors of x there, so together that's nine factors of x. Five factors of y here, nine factors of y there, so 14 factors of y altogether. Good. Now, I think for the most part, I don't think too many people struggle with, with that, but here's where the struggle does kick in. What happens when you throw numbers in there? What if I've got two cubed times two to the four? Now, I'm gonna approach this exactly the same way as I approached uh, it with the x's here. This first one here means that there are three factors of two. The second, term, uh, the, the second expression here means that there are four factors of two. And then I'm multiplying them together. All together that is seven factors of two. So two cubed times two to the four is two to the seven. Now, where the confusion comes in here is as soon as I put a two down there in the base, as soon as I give a base here, there is a temptation Okay, there is a temptation, and this is incorrect, okay, before I even write it, this is going to be incorrect, to make the base 4. Okay, to go 2 times 2 is 4, and then you put the exponents together, or, or something like that. You do, at that point, it doesn't even matter what you do to the exponents, because the, the base is incorrect. You've misunderstood that. That is, is not the way that, that works there, okay? Um, I just want you to be aware of that. When you're trying to combine the two powers into one term like that. Now, there are circumstances where, for example, I could convert it to a different base. Okay, But this is not how that's done. 
The mistake is when people just multiply them together and multiply the exponent, the bases together and then add the exponents together, okay? That is incorrect. When you add the exponents together, the base should stay as it was.